Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Moonstone and Ruwell. Shalom to the elect. Just a quick video. Um, it's going into the so-called white man, which is known as Esau in the scriptures. Okay. Uh, just a bit of background. Basically, if you go into Genesis and read from about just around 24, 25 mark, uh, a bit before that, around that mark, um, you'll, you'll, you can read about Jacob and Esau. Okay, and Jacob is basically um, our forefather, man. He's the, uh, Jacob's name got changed to Israel. And that's why you've got the 12 tribes of Israel today, the 12 sons of, um, that 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 it's got established as nations today. That's still here. Um, and that's basically, um, uh, that's Jacob, man. And his brother Esau is a so-called white man. Okay, the progenitor of the so-called white man. Anyway, I'm going to get into the scripture about him and then we're going to just break it down so we can understand it. This is um, Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see and he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. By the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay, and it's talking about how the soul is not lift is lift which is lifted up is not upright in him, man. And these Edomites, they're not they're not right by design. You know, they were they're completely and utterly against the heavenly Father and righteousness. You know, because they were they were created to be the the, the wicked on the earth, the the, the devil. That the scriptures are talking about, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep reading to identify a couple more things, man. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. And uh, that's what the so-called white man does. That's his MO, man. Transgressive, the tra transgressive by wine is talking about the false philosophies, man. The philosophies that are against the righteousness of the scriptures, man. That that, that the so-called white man promotes on the earth, okay? And he's a proud man. And it says that he, 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 he doesn't keep at home and he lodges his desire as hell and is his death. And that's what he does. Every country, you know, you've got, you've got Babylon, which is America. And you know the, the the foreign policy that this this man has, even back in Rome, and to, until now in this in this new Rome, he's 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 basically just goes around reaping and 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 taking all the resources of the earth and and putting everyone else in subjection, man. Because that's the, the and he does it through the sword. He does it through his army, his power, his military might, and that's the blessing that the Lord gave him, man. Pursuant to Genesis twenty seven, okay. In fact, um. I'm going to come back to this, but let me quickly just get a quick scripture. This is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay? And that's what the Lord promises to these, to these chosen, man, and to the rest of Israel, man. They are going to come through his chosen. Life and, and life more abundantly, man. You know, when we're not under the so-called white man's... Um, uh, power structure man because he's basically a cancer that needs to be taken out and it says the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy and that's what he did man every society, every uh, social structure he, he goes into every nation that he, he he encounters he just he completely robs steals and kills man that's what he does he did it you know as an example for example Native Americans man went over all the way to the Americas and um, basically um, stole the land uh, killed, killed, killed a lot of the natives. Um, put them into subjection, put them into camps, took took all the best land, gave them some shitty land. Anytime something happened in that land where they find out some resource, then they move them to another land and they got them on these reservations. Okay, let me go back to Habakkuk. So that you know, that's a, that's a, an idea of how that the scripture is talking about the so-called white man. But we're gonna get more into it, man. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid of himself with thick clay. And that's what this that's what this so-called white man does, man. He's increasing that which is not his, man. Okay, you know, 
the land of Israel is 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 belongs to the to the so called um, um, so called black people, which are the real Jews, so the Negroes, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, and, and everyone else that descends from that lineage, man. Okay, because that's the, that's the, that's the true Israelites of the, of the scriptures, the Hebrew Israelites of the scriptures, and that's that 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 land and really the whole earth belongs to, to us, man. So that the, this earth ain't the so called white man's. Okay. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for beauties unto them. And that's what's going to end up happening, man, because we're going to put them into subjection when the Lord comes back with his military might, the, the host of heaven and with the angels and completely destroys this man. It says, because thou hast spoiled many nations. And who does that? Who who goes around doing that? With the, you got you got the NATO, you got... You got the UN Security Council and so on and so forth. They go around in America. They go around spoiling nations, man. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Now, there's a key point, man. Woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Right? And if you go into Obadiah 1, key point there being nest on high. Um, so at the st Obadiah 101 it says the vision of Obadiah thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom so this chapter is talking about Edom man if you just go down to uh, verse 4 here it says though thou exalt thyself as the eagle and though, thy set, though thou set thy nest among the stars thence will I bring thee down saith the Lord you know and that's and that's what um, and that's that's basically who that scripture is referring to man okay uh, where is it again? Habakkuk 2, Salakia. He that sets his nest on high, man. Okay? And that's what, hey, this, this so-called white man is done, man. He's going to be he's gonna be complete and utterly destroyed. The Lord's coming back soon. It's imminent because the scriptures, are, the prophecies are coming to pass. You know, World War Three is already on its way. And it's going to come to that climax, man, because it's a prophecy, you know? And the Lord's words don't go out of void, man. Okay, and that chip, that mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, is being pushed. And it's, it's going to get pushed even heavier, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be out there because the prophets are out there on the streets pushing its truth, man. We, you, and you find not prophets in Great Millstrong, you know. Um, anyway, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to say um, Shalom.